We are gonna try to keep this one humble. But yo, we're gonna come in Villa Park, you know. They're coming to the fortress. You see, when I'm watching the game, I wanna lose count how many goals are going in, yeah? I wanna lose count, bro. Hey, on paper, we should smash Luton. But funnier things have happened in football, I have to say, man. But yeah, people, let's get into this match preview, man. Come on. Yeah, people, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Of course, as you can see, we're back here for the match preview. Aston Villa against Luton tomorrow, 2 o'clock kickoff. But well, let's touch on it, man. Aston Villa, people. Let's touch on Villa first. Of course, like I said, coming back from the Conference League win. Hey, confidence is up right now. I have to say, I never managed to watch the game. But, for, but from, what, from what I've uh, heard from Villa fans is we played some saucy, saucy football. I've seen a few of the highlights and the, the goal that Leon Bailey scored. The build-up phase from that. Hey, that was Unai Emery ball, man, I have to say, playing out from the back. And there was one clip where I saw um, Emery Martinez was literally standing and um, the, the, the fans were basically booing, the, booing Emery Martinez for just standing there not playing the ball. But that's what we wanted to do, like try to draw their players into um, our half and play around them. And that's what we've done, man. I think even one of their players came out and said, like, Aston Villa um, was one of the hardest teams he's ever played, man. And yo... That guy's talking facts, man. I have to say, man. This game against Luton, you should be absolutely wiping the floor with them. At the same time, we are got to stay humble, yeah? Because like I said, mad things have happened in football, man, I have to say. Um, but yeah, on paper, we should be absolutely smashing them, man. Um, and I want to touch on one player as well in particular, man. Leon Bailey, bro, yeah? Just a quote. Let the praise be as loud as the disrespect was, man, yeah? I've always met Leon Bailey, man. And yo, right now, he is absolutely cooking, man. Getting the goals, getting the assists. And not just that. Looking with your eye test, bro. Eye test. This guy is balling out, man. Like, it's so good to see. He's taking players on. Hey, low sucks Bailey. Low sucks Bailey. Moving that prime Jack Grealish, bro. Yeah. Low sucks Bailey. Redemption season, man. I keep on saying this, man. Like, he's absolutely been balling for us, man. And what a player he's been, man. Um, not just him as well. I have to say, people, the whole team, man. Literally, the whole team. There's, there's a system, you know, there's a, a philosophy. And the players know the instructions. They know what to do in the build-up phase, uh, defensive-wise. They literally know what to do, man. Um, but, yeah, um, Luton Town, of course, what, 17th in the league, five points. I think they drew the last game against Nottingham Forest um, away. And the other away game, I think they beat Everton. Um, so, yeah, away from home. They're doing their thing and... I thought Lou and Tan, when they come up, they're going to be getting smacked week in, week out. And it's not the case. Like, they're not really getting smashed 4, 5, 6 nil. Um, They're actually, you know, putting up some fight. Can I see them staying up? I'll be honest, I can't. I was one of the guys that said at the start of the season that, you know, they're going to get relegated. I just don't think that they have that Premier League quality. Yeah, they got our ex-player, Marvellous Nakamba. And I think he's made the most interceptions in the league this season. And I think that's just down to, you know, Lou and Tan trying to nullify teams, you know, trying to, basically always trying to tackle the opposition. They ain't really going to have the possession, are they? Let's be real. Um, but yeah, Nakamba, I have to say, he's a, a danger man for them. Who else have they got? Chang, uh, he was at Birmingham City, I'm sure. Um, and Man United as well. I don't particularly rate him as highly. I don't think he's, you know, levels like that. Um, but, you know, he can possibly be a problem um, for us. We also they got Morris as well. I think that's one of the key, man. You know, they like to play him as a, as a target, man. You know, they play those direct passes. And that's how basically sometimes Lou and Town play. Direct football, you know, play it to Morris and he'll play it to the, to, the, to the wingers and stuff like that, man. But sometimes I have to say it does become too predictable and opposition managers, you know, use tactics to nullify that. And I have to say our manager knows the tactics, yeah? He knows the tactics, man. Um... But yeah, that's basically how they do play. And I think um, when they do defend, I think it, sometimes it's a, it's a five at the back as well. Um, but yeah, can I see Luton Tang getting something from this game? I'll be real, people. I can't, man. At the same time, we're going to stay humble, like I said. But, like I said, bro, funnier things have happened in football. But yeah, on paper, bro, we should be absolutely smashing these lot, man. And like I said, bro, yeah, I want to lose count how many goals are going in. <laughs> but let's get into my Aston Villa lineup, man. And... I don't know if we should change it a bit, 
give players a rest. I'm not trying to disrespect Luton or anything like that, but against these teams, you know, you should kind of rotate and give some of the players a rest. And yeah, man, just freshen things up, man. So in gold, we're going to stick to Emi Martinez. Right back, I'm going to go for Matty Cash. Centre backs, I'm going to go for. I wouldn't mind seeing Diego Carlos come in, you know, people. I wouldn't mind Diego Carlos come in, but I think we'll play um, Esri Concert and Paul Torres. Left back will go with uh, Luca Dean. Centre mids, can I see Tielemans coming in? Nah, I'm going to go for Kamara and Luis. Then I'm going to go for Zaniolo. I'm not, I'm not sure if he's going to be available because um, I think he had this uh, court hearing in Italy, so I'm not too sure if he's available. But anyway, I'm going to be playing Leon Bailey, man. Like Leon Bailey, like I said, bro, this guy is a confidence player, man. And when he's playing, and when Leon Bailey is, is fresh, when he's ready to go, injury-free, this guy is an absolute baller, man. Like He's so good, man. And I've always backed him like he's a top, top player, man. And right now, this season, he's showing what he's about. He's literally showing what he's about, man. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to play Leon Bailey. Um, John McGinn on the left. Diaby in the 10. And I wouldn't mind seeing John Colombian hit Man Duran, you know. I don't mind. I really don't mind. Like, Ollie Watkins against Luton. He can possibly get a rest and, you know, wrap him in cotton wool. He's, he's been playing, like, the last couple of well, Literally every game this season, I'm sure, he's been starting. So, I wouldn't mind seeing him get a rest. I wouldn't even mind seeing um, maybe uh, a Paul Torres or Ezri Conta getting a rest and Diego Carlos coming in for either one of them. Um, I wouldn't mind. Um, but yeah, man, I think... What, do I think Una Emery will, will change the lineup? Possibly, possibly. But I think he just wants to go strong in every game man, and try win every game. I'll be real, man. I'll be real. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing a few players get rotated and, you know, Unai and refreshing a few things up, man. But anyway, people, let's get into my prediction. Yeah, prediction time. I'm going to go for uh, clean sheet. Clean sheet business, of course. Of course, at Villa Park, clean sheet. I'm going to go for 3-0 uh, to the Villa, man. Like I said, I'm going to try to be humble with it because Lou and Town haven't really been getting smashed for 5-6. But... At the same time, when you come to Villa Park, when you come to the Fortress, that can possibly change, I have to say, man. Um, but yeah, man, I'm going to go for a 3-0, 3-0. No, no. We keep it humble and we keep it moving, man. What are we, fifth in the league right now? <sighs> hey, so you're going to be hearing that Champions League game from next season. You know, you never know, people. You never know, man. We've got that hope. And let's let's see if that becomes a reality, man. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go for 3-0 no to the Villa. Um... And also, yeah, I just want to say credit to Luton as well, man. Like, from where they've come from and now them not in the Premier League, you know, it's always going to be a, a hard task for them to stay in the Premier League just because, you know, there's a lot of competition and you've got to spend the money to, to stay up, basically. Um, and yeah, man, credit to them, credit to them. Any Luton fans watching, let me know your thoughts. Do you guys think you guys will stay up? Um, let me know your guys' predicted lineup, your score predictions, your danger, man. Any players you got that... Um, you think Villa fans should be wary of and stuff like that uh, but yeah Villa fans let me know your thoughts as well in the comments below your lineups your predictions everything like that <coughs> excuse me uh, but yeah guys stay tuned match reaction out tomorrow after the game and of course as well the match day vlog man I can't wait I can't wait man um, yeah man like comment subscribe people and also thank you for 1k subscribers man we finally hit it man we finally hit 1k man so, yeah, man, everyone that's liked, subscribed, shared the channel. Um, yeah, man, big up to yourself. I appreciate people. Um, but, yeah, people, keep liking the videos. Keep subscribing as well if you're new to the channel. And I'm out, man. Up the villa.